Baby, it's the bright for me. Woo! It's the bright for me. Do you see them out there swaying freely? Stiff wheel. Stiff wheel. Woo! Hi guys welcome back to my channel once again it's your girl sperry and if you are new to my channel go ahead subscribe right down below and if you are interested in hair videos natural hair traveling name it all and faith content this is the right channel for you we got it all baby girl we got it all so in this video we'll be learning the pros and cons of knotless braid and how to do it okay so as you can tell over here she is just tucking my hair in and braiding it as she goes along and then she gets like little pieces of hair to basically cover it up and you can see she adds it on top and um, for the most part of people in um, the states when they're doing that let's braid they usually add the hair underneath rather than being on top so when you braid it from beneath it kind of hides the fact that you are hiding hair and over here you can see she did really a good job because she still can't really tell that um she added hair to it apart from the roots of the hair so over here we're actually going to learn from the bottom of it and as we can tell she just added some gel to kind of smoothen the bottom part of it and then as you can tell she added um she braided just like about two braids and then she started with adding the extension hair to it so if you're someone who doesn't like pain i would suggest you go in for not less braid because it is painless there is basically no pain whilst they're braiding it and even after they finish braiding it's also weightless the weight is not a lot especially if you don't use a lot of hair so specifically for this braiding that is going on right now i had five packs of hair in color 27 and i used ultra and um we ended up just using about four and half we didn't use all of it and i also wanted it very long it was my butt length so that was why the hair um we ended up using the amount of hair but aside that the weight of the hair wasn't really bad at all it was it was pretty much weightless and of course if you don't like pain like myself um this is also the best uh, hair that you can get it also serves as a protective hairstyle for your hair away from the sun the humid from you know bad weather this is why it is important for you to tuck your hair in and i was very happy with the way she tucked my hair in as you can see right over here she makes sure that the hair is covered and this really protects it from damaging so it also helps with um, promotion of hair growth because your hair is growing and not damaging so yeah <laughs> so one of the things i realized whilst i was editing this video is in order for you to have like about 99 percent of your hair tucked in make sure your hair is stretched out make sure your hair is straightened out make sure your hair is thinner it shouldn't be bulky it shouldn't be too coarse especially for natural hair it's kind of hard to cover it up regardless of the type of um bugs braids that you are having so if you're having this nutless bugs braid and you want it to look a little bit more appetizing i would suggest that you stretch your hair or straighten it that way your hair is not too coarse for this braid or your hair is not too heavy for this braid because the lighter your hair the better um it comes out and also the neater it looks be mindful of how you section the hair because that will influence how much hair you'll be using to braid your hair because if you're sectioning it, it's way too big meaning your hair is going to be too heavy and hence you're going to use a lot of hair in order to cover it up back to the pros of this hair this hair doesn't take long to braid because of the way it's sectioned the way it's usually sectioned is there is spaces in the hair so it's not as bulky as the basic bug sprays we usually have and because of that when somebody is braiding it for you or you're braiding it yourself there is um, less time used as compared to the regular bug spray it's also very flexible when you're trying to style it because of how um, weightless it is and because of how the parting usually looks pretty neat and nice it's easy 
to style it and I love that I really love this hair to be honest she did a wonderful job so yeah now to the cons of this hair one of the things I don't like is that it does not last long especially if you have natural hair um, just within like maybe a week or two you will start to see um, basically your hair popping out or your natural hair showing in some type of way underneath and it's just like not the best this hair basically lasted me for about a month before I took it out but usually when I do get bags braids it doesn't I mean not less bags braids it doesn't last that long I think the longest aside this one the longest I've had not less bags braids for was like two and half weeks and that was pretty much it so this hair pretty much lasted long because my hair was not showing or popping out um, and uh, the pattern too was very uh, beautiful so I love this look overall I enjoyed it and um, yeah so so after the braid is done she went ahead to trim excess um, extensions around the braid and afterwards she just put it in uh, hot water to soften it up and to make it look more flowy as my friend would say <laughs> that's pretty much it for this video and um, you can just enjoy the rest as a place oh by the way this hair was done in Ghana and I give them a big thumbs up because this hair was the bomb okay and with that being said please go ahead subscribe right down below and give this video a thumbs up because it really helps the video to be recommended by youtube to other people who will also benefit from this video i love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching and i will surely see you in the next video bye oh my god can we just appreciate the skin over here because my skin right now is not communicating with me but look at that skin can i have the skin back okay y'all bye <laughs>